Hi guys. Miss Downs here. Um, I just did my morning yoga. So um, we're meeting down here on the floor and um, kind of for a reason in particular because, well, let me show you. Someone is joining us. Henry. Say hi. Well, he'll probably come into the picture anyways. But, so I wanna to talk to you a little bit about hands and paws and footprints, fingerprints, things like that. Um, one thing about fingerprints and hands is that we all have our own individual hands and fingerprints. So no one has the same that anyone else. Um, I brought, I'm bringing in Henry today, he's my assistant. He's not very much help, but because I wanna show you something. I did this drawing of Henry's paw um, many years ago because Henry has um, some deformities. We think we would call them deformities. I think they're gorgeous and they're so unique and they make him really who he is. But anyway, so this is a paw. This is one of his paws. So now we get it so you can see without the glare. Now you can see right here, he's got an extra finger right there. Right there. And then his paw's pretty normal right here, but he's got that extra finger that's kind of growing out right there. Now, it makes him very, very, very unique. He also, on the back of his paw, one of his paws, he's missing a finger. So when he stretches, it looks like this, kind of like an alien. So he's kind of a funny little guy. Yeah, he's over here, he's right here. Um, but I love him very much, and I love him because he's very unique. He also only has half of an ear on top, which, um, you know, we all have our own quirks. We all have our own things. Like, you know, Miss Downs, like me, I'm very, um, what do we call it, introverted and kind of quiet sometimes. So, you know, we all have our, our specific things. But the reason why I'm talking about hands and fingerprints and paws is because of our art project today. Now, one of the things I learned working with um, rhinoceros in Africa um, in Zimbabwe is that every rhino rhinoceros, their footprint is like our fingerprints. So they're very individual and they identify individual animals. So they can use footprints or spores, what they call them, to track rhinoceros and make sure they're still safe, make sure they're, they're where they are because they live in um, specific areas. They're not big roamers, but they have like land that they live on. So anyways, um, so since we're stuck inside, I thought today what would be a really cool thing is to make kind of a family picture using our hands and our paws. If there are even any animals inside that have paws, you can always add those too. So, I only have my one trusty marker, so I'm just going to give you some ideas and then you can kind of run with it. So I have my big paper here and as we do with our hands, you're going to trace your hand. Okay. And see if you can kind of get everybody. So if you have a brother or sister, um, babysitter, mom, dad, whatever, stepmom, stepdad, I, who knows, grandma, grandpa's at home, maybe you have an aunt at home, anybody that's living in your house right now. Right now, it's just me and Henry and Daisy May. So with that, um, so I have my hand right here, and I can color it and put anything, details, you can add designs inside, make it your own, make it your hand. It's your picture, so you want your hand to be amazing. Now, so then I'm going to put, since I have um, two cats, um, I'm going to put their paws in. So with cats, they have kind of like this little, these pads. And then I think they have, yeah, just four. Four little, two, two three, four. I think that's pretty right. I'm not sure. Maybe it's too close. I can't remember. And then they have like these little claws. You could always do the claws too. Okay, so let's say that's that's Daisy May, and then I'm gonna make a bigger one because Henry's is kind of weird. And then let me see, I'm looking at his picture right now. And then do the pads. His pads are kind of like that, and then that, and then he has his extra. Remember, you've had he has his extra finger. 
So then what we're going to do is claws if you want to, because cat claws retract, so they're not always out like this. Like a dog's claws are always out. They can't retract. So when you draw your dog's claws or dog's paw, it'll be different than a cat's paw. So you can color them, make them whatever. If you want to put the name on, you can put Daisy May. I could put, you know, Miss Downs, Daisy May, Henry George. And then if you wanted to, so this could be something that you could hang in your house or you could put it in your window. Now, my, what I was thinking was, since we're all stuck inside and we want everyone to stay inside, stay safe. You know, if you have a yard, you're lucky because you can go out into your yard. But you technically really should stay in your house and inside your yard unless, you know, you have to go to the grocery store or something like that. Um, so one thing you could do is say, um, we, or stay home, or thank you um, for staying home. That's a good one. Thank you for staying home. You can't see that. Thank you. How about we? We thank you. And then maybe on the bottom for staying home. What do you think? What's that? So then yours is going to be much more colorful than mine since I only have my, my black marker. But it's okay. So you can add anything you want to if you wanted to actually add pictures um, and do something more than your handprint or your paw print. That's fine. Um, I think that's about it. Let me, let me ask Henry George. Hold on. Henry. Henry. They're going to go now. Do you want to say hi? He doesn't want to say hi. He's very lazy, everybody. I know.